So, like you said, this is not the first time that we are coming to Northeast India. You have been, you have travelled extensively to this region, and you must have also closely observed the uh, the startup ecosystem, the way it has evolved. Your comment on this? How do you think this startup ecosystem has evolved over the years here? Um. To be honest with you, from a uh, startup ecosystem, I might not be able to comment too much, but I'll be able to comment basis the exposure that I've had with a few of the entities. One is beginning to see a lot more energy, being to see a lot more desire and aspiration to learn quickly and to see what I need to do to make it bigger. That's what I can see. The other thing which I can see is there's a lot of pride in in the uh, in the culture in the heritage of where they come from whichever be the states and therefore they would like to ensure that that part of it is communicated correctly through the system and that's the second thing which i can see that there's a lot that they want to give back to wherever they are coming from Right. So obviously, I think you must have also noticed that uh, one area where the startups have been extensively working on is uh, giving the low, uh, innovating solutions to give the local, uh, the agri products basically uh, a larger market through technological infusion as well. Uh, so, what are the areas that you think would uh, need smoothing up if these startups are to stir the interest of, say, a food and agri tech VC company like Omnivore? Well, uh, that's a little tricky. Uh, See, what is happening is uh, there's quite a lot of uh, agriculture produce out here. But I think the, uh, the serious challenges are of aggregation from a supply side point of view. And it's not so easy for you to move raw material produce from one area to another area. Uh, there's a lot more which has to be done by way of uh, either infrastructure or by way of innovation in movement of aggregation. That's one side of it. The other side of it is you don't have a very large market. So now you have to process and then take it out. So we'll need to find some innovation around how do you really tackle these two issues. And I think somebody who can focus on both of these issues should be able to actually do a very very big job around it it's possible it's not that it's not possible but it will call for deep inciting on both uh, both the problem of sourcing and the problem of marketing that's what i think is a is a real challenge also uh Many of the startups here are focusing on the local market, the market in the northeastern region. Do you think somewhere it's also posing a hindrance as far as uh, fundraising is concerned? My point of view, considering that even within the northeast, it's not that the market is not very big. It's what you say is right, that you might not be able to find venture capital because they, their expectations could be much larger. So what could be interesting is to figure out that everyone need not become a VCable opportunity. But can we look at creating a huge number of mid-sized firms, small-sized firms? There's nothing wrong with being a very successful MSME. So how do we create that environment where you become a, a good MSME if, if you are really focusing on the Northeast alone and ensuring that you're matching the investors to that profile. And out of this, few of them will be VCable and will go to the larger ecosystem. So we need to understand that part of it.